so many times I hear people telling me that they don't have time to train, they are too busy, they cannot find time during the day. Well, today I'm going to show you guys that you can actually have a very good workout, a very intense workout in just 45 minutes. So it's 8.38, you can see the clock back there, I think. So I will start at 8.40 in two minutes, and let's see, by 9.25, if I manage to finish the workout, it's gonna be a pull day, a back day, back and biceps. So yeah, 45 minutes, I'm on the clock. I did a little bit of warm up, I warmed up my body, my joints. Now I'm gonna do a warm up set here, I'm gonna start with the lat pull downs. Maybe you can film the clock, 8.40. So, let's see. <clears throat> that was the first warm-up set. I have some Bruno Mars to motivate me. And uh, let's see, I'm gonna have two more sets here, so. The goal will be to keep it short in terms of volume of sets, but very intense. So every exercise will have probably just two sets. One warm-up set and one set to complete failure, even pass failure. So it's going to be Dorian Yates, Mike Manser type of workout. Short and intense. All right, ready? Let's set. Let's go. Was the last one here. It was the failure and some partials. Now moving on to the T-bar. So it's going to be the second one T-bar for the middle back. I will have just two sets here. One, let's say warm-up set. I will not go to failure. The second one, again, complete failure. So the goal with the first sets, they are called feeder sets, so it's just to feed the muscle, just to prepare the muscle for what's about to come. So we are not going to failure on these sets. We don't want to pre-exhaust the muscle, we just want to prepare the muscle for the last one. Last one, T-bar. I added double the weight, I had almost double the weight. I had uh, 25 kilos, now I have 42.5. Again, less set to failure, maximum. All I got now. Oh. 
one thing that this two bar does is the range of motion. You cannot have the same stretch at anything else. This one is like uh, bending you fully all the way down. Feel that traps, feel those traps, the rhomboids, everything stretching. And you have a full range of motion, a really big one. This is why you need to take advantage here of the T-bar if you have it in your gym. Don't just do half the movements. Just fully stretch all the way down, come back up with the chest, retract the scapula, squeeze the traps. Oh, that hurts. I'm already sweating, I'm 20 minutes in. Not 20, I have 13 minutes in. Oh la la. Close grip rows for the lats. I focus on keeping the elbows close to me and I drag, I drag the handle on top of my, my quads. Don't lean back, try to stay straight or ideally a little bit in front. Not a lot of rocking. Again, one feeder set, just one feeder set here and one working set to failure. I might do a drop set here since I have the cable and I can change the pin quickly. minutes 16 minutes since I started the workout and I'm, I'm already at my third exercise and I'm sweating and I feel my back burning so you can do it you can do it even in half an hour if you don't have time you can do a split of every day if you have just every day 30 minutes to work out do a split one day just back you don't have to do biceps as well the other day just chest you come five times a week and you can complete all the, all the muscle groups. Find a way, you can adapt. I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure you have more than half an hour in a day. Last one here. I increase the weight probably a bit too much, but I'll do as many as I can and then I think I'll do a drop set. Let's see how it goes. If I manage to do 10 good reps, that's all. Let's go, let's set, best set. Come on. Come on, let's go. Notice one thing that I do for every exercise. Two very important things, besides, of course, the, to learn the execution and the motion and so on. Two very important things, full range of motion and tempo. The tempo usually is one second concentric. When I pull, one second, I can slightly hold. It's like half a second, one second hold, and then slowly two seconds release. I don't want to rock the weight back and forth. There's no point in doing that. You want to feel the muscle contracting, you want to feel the muscle burn. You need to exhaust the muscle that's supposed to work. And obviously full range of motion. So I want to have a deep stretch for everything and then contract. I don't do these quarter motions. And if you didn't see in my previous videos, or probably you know already, I wrote all about this in my ebook. It's called the Complete Muscle Building Course. You have a lot of information in there about the workout, the nutrition, supplements, injury prevention, recovery, so on. So I think you're gonna find the link down below if you're interested. So we are exactly 22 minutes in the workout and I finished three exercises. Now I'm gonna move to shrugs, work on the traps because my weak point, I'm gonna do three sets to failure there. So all the sets heavy to failure. All right, last exercise for back, 
shrugs or traps. So I'm gonna gradually increase the weight, 10 to 12 repetitions. Go up one second, hold one second, two seconds down, fully stretch. Step back, never stay in front of the rack. People can, people need to use the dumbbell, so don't take the weight there. Stay, step back if you do this. Finally, some light rock. Not bad. A little bit of a switch from Bruno Mars and Sam Sweet. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Now we are talking. I think I'm going to start the workout again. I don't have 26 here, so I'll just go to 28. There's one thing, guys. If, you, if you're searching for some dumbbells and you don't have them, just go up in weight. See? That's easy. Nine and nine minutes. I have 16 minutes to do two exercises for biceps, but they're gonna be short. So two sets each exercise, two exercises, two sets. The same principle, one feeder set, one working set to failure, even pass failure, because with biceps it's easier to do drop sets. Good, I'm gonna do rope curls on the cable. Two sets, like I said, one feeder set, and then the last one to failure. All right, it's time to smoke the biceps. I think that's too light. <sighs> 15 reps. I started to feel them a little bit on the last reps. Still too light. So I'm gonna go two pins lower on the weight. Last one, last set to failure. Probably I'll go even past failure and uh, with a drop set. So let's see how it goes. Ten minutes left with one more exercise. I will have time to do a posing and uh, the thumbnail. <laughs> So, the next one, and the last one. I contracted the biceps with a narrow grip, and I, I came with the elbow slightly in front. So I moved it to the, closer to the contraction point, the maximum contraction point. 
the maximum is here. So when we do this, it's the maximum contraction point. Now I want to go behind to stretch it as much as possible. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna incline the bench, something like this, maybe 45 degrees. If you want, you can go even lower. Actually, I'm gonna go even lower. Something like this. I want to go with the elbow as further as I can. Pay attention to the shoulders. If they hurt too much, just come a bit higher. But I want to emphasize this stretch. Bring the chest up, emphasize, and not a heavy weight. You cannot do heavy weights here. So again, pick some lighter dumbbells. In the beginning, if you haven't done this exercise, don't do ego lifting because you put the biceps into a weird position. So take a light weight, incline the bench, keep the elbows back, chest up, fully stretch. I want you to feel, feel the triceps contracting and then squeeze. Fully stretch, contract the triceps, squeeze. Shit, this burns like crazy. Ugh. Fuck. Sorry for cursing. Oh la la. Phew. Okay, last one. I'm gonna keep the same weight because I just did 10 and probably two partials. So it's heavy enough. Previously I was doing it a little bit higher. Now the inclination is bigger, so it's a deeper stretch. It hurts. Oh. Check the watch, the clock. What is it? 9.21. So in exactly 41 minutes, with the warm up, three exercises for back, one traps, two biceps. High intensity, I'm sweating, my back burns, my biceps are burning. Guys, you can do it. I'm pretty sure, I don't want to get into your private life, but I'm pretty sure if you go on your Instagram and check your activity level, you will see there two, three hours every day. So cut a little bit of those hours and come here. I'm pretty sure you can do it. But even with the Instagram, you have 45 minutes every day to come and train. You know, like I said, if you don't have just half an hour, just do the back exercise, then another day you do arms, then the other day you do chest, you find a way. Just come and train. Good, that was a good workout. Now I'll need to find a way to do a good thumbnail so you guys can click on the video and actually see the video. And then, good to go. Guys, thanks again for watching. If you want to see other videos that are, let's say, more complex, you have a link up here. You will see the, the link with the workouts, also nutrition, other things that can help you improve your life and your physique and so on. Thanks again for watching. Check the description for my ebook and see you next time. Ciao.